Hello. Shark, do, 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 do. Well, baby he got upset shark. About that today. Huh? He got upset about that today. He even fabricated an email. <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, that thing I'm not really quickly. I'm not really sure about the laws on the internet, you know, and uh, uh, net neutrality and all that. But that may or may does that constitute mail fraud? A lot of lies being told on the internet. A lot of lies. A lot of lies. The whole Baselli thing. That was a uh, chock full of lies. Um, I kind of felt like you. Well, you you you, you answered truthfully, but you I answered truthfully. You did couch a little bit like you're like well i wasn't kind of listening what you know you no, I, was, I was being you, honest you, I was knew, only yeah, listening you knew what the, was going on i mean I you knew what was going on i don't remember all the specifics you, know, you was, did not cuss him out yeah you criticized him yeah rightfully so for blowing us off twice yeah uh he did call during the six o'clock hour on one on tuesday. one of the makeup days yeah tuesday because yeah. he had to fly yeah uh which means he was just bored at the airport let's keep it real <laughs> uh and then uh and then yeah we finally caught him up today yeah uh, now, Jeff, on this program, after the drill yesterday, mm-hmm. did profess how he felt like he could beat Big Bo in a fight if Big Bo was on his knees. Because he said he would move fast mm-hmm. and, and drop kick him in the back of the head. Yeah. And those are real things that were said. I would throw a chair at him, personally. Yeah. I mean, Or even pick up the chair and try to get behind him and like, yeah. like steal a chair right over the back of the head. No question. Yeah, trying to knock him out. No uh, question. What's up? Uh, we're, it's an exciting day, man. We had a, a fun day on the drill with Doc Murphy and, was uh, fun. and, and Big Bo. Uh, we learned a lot today. Uh, we learned that apparently being impaled by a javelin is not really as big a deal as you would think. Well, you can survive it. Depending on where you're impaled. You can <laughs> Who survive knew? it. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> Georgia track and field athlete yes. took a javelin. They were doing backward sprints, and he took a javelin through the shoulder. Uh, they had to kind of grind it off to keep it in. you Because yeah. you don't want to pull those things out, like Doc said, for fear if you, if you puncture a major blood vessel, uh, you want to play it safe. So they had to grind it off and like saw it down to leave it through his shoulder, but yeah, he got impaled through the shoulder while running backwards, but he's That's all right. That's crazy, man. Going to recover. Yeah. Uh, but it was just, every, when it, like Jeff said, whenever you read the word impale mm-hmm. in an uh, article that involves a uh, sports injury, you think probably the worst, Yeah. Uh, but thankfully not. Uh, speaking of sports injuries, though, last night, Kevin Durant pulled up Ooh, lame. Gosh. Uh, you've had an Achilles, so immediately when he reached back for that the back of that leg, you yeah. thought Achilles. Yeah. Uh, Steve Kerr, right after the game, said, not an Achilles. They're calling it a calf strain. He'll have an MRI today. I hope that's true. Uh, either way, it's looking unlikely that he will travel to Houston for Game Six. Yeah, he's not playing uh, this series. And then, uh, and then Game Seven is probably you know a big, big question mark as well. It's probably more can he be ready for the West Finals if uh, Golden State should advance? Which I mean, if you ask Charles Barkley, they won't because he says they cannot win even this series without Kevin Durant. I'm not sure I believe Still that. Still not as bad a take as Paul Pierce's the other Paul day. Paul Pierce is the hot Boston, take, garbage take artist. Milwaukee's not going to win a game. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing great with the bad takes. Uh, Paul, yeah, Paul's a, Paul was a great Morning player. Movies. He's not very good on TV. Hello, Wendy. Uh, we love Wendy. Wendy mm-hmm. kept us in check yesterday as I made a bad analogy, and she called me on it, and she was right. Okay. Uh, so thank you, Wendy. We love Wendy. She's Everyone knows on. it's Wendy. So yeah, so today, uh, you know, all week we've been giving away four packs of uh, Jacksonville Sharks tickets for mm-hmm. Saturday night's game against the uh, Carolina Cobras. Okay, that's what they're called. All right. And uh, yeah, we've been when we come back late when we do it later in the show, we come back and I play Baby Shark because it's a fun song, mm-hmm. and Dan does the the song and I do the dances, mm-hmm. and uh, and Jeff gets enraged. It's like Leo Sayer all over again, and at he actually reached out his phone and said, "I have an email from the Sharks that says please." Don't play the baby shark. You're song. suggesting that was a fabrication. You're trivializing our giveaway, play the Jaws music, and I flat out am saying I'm calling him on it. I'm Jacuse! Mm. Jacuse! I'm accusing. Well, you, in fact, it's a lie. tweeted. I tweeted at the sharks to get confirmation. And we haven't heard back. I haven't heard back from you yet, but I tweeted the sharks asking them if Let's it see, bothers them when we play baby shark yeah. and our giveaways. I told him I was asking for a friend. I didn't want to name Twitterless Jeff because I didn't want to damage his rep as it's still sterling and pristine. Well done. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, what about the big news about the uh, Dan Hicken NBA Draft Lottery Party big time featuring featuring Paul Davis? Uh, I'm, you know, now does that excite you? Being uh, somewhat egomaniacal myself, yes. Uh, you know, that's something that I think it's one of the f- things we kind of uh, bond over mm-hmm. is that uh, is that we're both uh, have you know rampant out of control egos. Yes. So. Part of me takes mild offense to the fact that I've been committed to this party for weeks now. Yes. And it's never been the NBA draft party featuring beef. No. Uh, but now that Balls Davis commits on a whim, uh, it's the draft party featuring Balls Davis. Uh, kind of lets me know where I stand in the, uh, in the friendship tree. Uh, I'm a couple, I I'm a couple, with that. couple branches down from Balls. 
That's not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah, Balls will be there, uh, which is exciting. I love Balls. He's uh, he's he's one of my friends. Uh, now I'm a little worried about having my kids spend time with Balls because I think he's a bad influence. Uh-huh. But uh, but we'll be there. Me and the petite, the PDD actually just got brand new kicks, Dan. Red, high top basketball kicks. Mm-hmm. So he's ready for the draft lottery party. Be repping the Bulls strong. In his red kicks. Oh, I like that. So we'll be there. Rep uh-huh. Reverend Chi Town, mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. And Balls has promised he will be a member of the Bulls uh, Brigade. delegation yeah. at the draft lottery party. So it'll be me, Petit, Tater, and Balls. All right, that's strong. Team Bulls, four deep. Me, Yaya, Drew, Brooks. Brooks. New York Strong. New York Strong. So it's a. It's a Rodeo Ron. Ron. Rodeo Ron. Hawk Strong. Hawk Strong, Jeff in spirit. Not even in spirit. Now, intern RJ today. Uh, he's a boy, he sort of. I wouldn't quite. I didn't quite give him the invite. It wasn't really a formal invite, but he sort of just like. Uh, I got the feeling you didn't want him to come. No, it's not really that. I was a little annoyed by the fact that it, I've been an intern. Yeah. And you don't really just thrust yourself into a social situation and invite yourself. That, that's and wrong. I felt like that's what was going on. There. Yeah. So I was trying to sort of curb that a little bit, just to you know, as for remembering my time as an intern, you need to be humbled a little bit. So that's why I said we should send him Jeff's address. Uh, for the party. Right. And have him roll up at the Casa de Prosser. That would have been hilarious. Uh, Tuesday night, ring the doorbell. Hey. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm RJ. I'm here for the, the draft lottery. Jeff's, you know, in a, in season, a bathrobe. Season and, six. Right. Yeah, he's Game of Thrones. He's got, you know, a mug of, uh, you know, uh, 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 Moscow Mule. You know, and he's in like his tidy whiteies in a bathrobe. What are you doing here? <laughs> Smoke day <dang> one. <laughs> Newport hanging off his lip. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How do you know where I live? <laughs> what a visual. That would have been the greatest. That would have been great. But sadly, uh, we kind of we ratted ourselves out on that. So, yeah, yeah. we'll keep you posted on the draft lottery party. It's, right. uh, it's a private affair, but, boy, it'll be glorious. We'll be, it'll, there will be videos and photos on social media galore. Yeah. It won't be so, so private. I think it's, you know, I, th- I think you're wrong. I might even periscope the actual lottery to see for yeah. reacts. I think you're wrong to take offense to the featuring Balls <laughs> Davis line. I think that was, uh, you yeah, know, Balls Davis. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you're yeah. around every day. We do things True. together all the time. We just played golf together. We did. Did I play golf? And with we Balls? was. I happened to. I wasn't going through your mailbox, but yeah. I saw. I was. I saw you had copy. Uh, that's code for scripts. Yeah. Googans in his mailbox, and when I walk by the mailbox, as if Dan's got copy, I yeah. grab it to put it with his other copy. Uh-huh. It's just something I do as a courtesy for my friend. Thank you. And as I was pulling the copy out to see if it was for today or next week, uh-huh. uh, your card from the Builders Classic people fell. So I was like, oh, Dan got a card. Then I look at my mailbox, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> And a card said. No, it was a, it was a great, I, I saw it. Uh, yeah, the guy uh, said maybe we can, sh- you know, I, I'm, it I'm very, still a little stunned that very we, nice people. we didn't receive a gift. Should have gotten a first gift. First place prize. And also individual trophies I thought would have been appropriate. I, I, I'm not sure what I happened mean, How there. much more are four trophies than one, really? I'm not sure what happened on that one, but we're just letting you guys in on the, on the inside stuff. That's it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the golf and uh, in every, the bigger in no way, point was you shouldn't be uh, uh, in no way, shape, or form is my br- ego actually bruised. Yeah, because uh, I, I have very little ego. Yeah. in this business. Yeah, uh, as long as we've been in it, but uh, here we are. Uh, so we'll be at it again tomorrow, Friday, Friday style. Head towards the weekend. Uh, Jaguar rookie mini camp is this weekend. Sadly, it's not open to any of us, so we'll just have to hear the tales from. Uh, you know, the guys who do get it, uh, uh, you know, a first-hand look at what's going on out there. It won't be any of us. Mark Leishman has withdrawn, according to Reimer. There. It's a disaster for me. Uh-oh. Bad news. That's bad. That's bad news. He did say a little birdie told him, and I didn't I didn't. Trust I need him. Jordan Spieth to have a big week because he was my backup pick after or after uh, my guy had pulled out. With that's, Drew. that's highly disappointing, but nonetheless. <laughs> I appreciate I, Tom I Alter. Apparently, there is one Mets fan in the world that I like and respect, and it's Tom Alter. Who came through for me <laughs> like a real friend? It covered my back. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll be back at that tomorrow, Guggen. Yes. Friday edition. Oh, yeah. You know Filter, what that means? Filter Friday. Filter Friday. I'll go Leo. 9 a.m. Prosser rages. And we have Sharks tickets again, so if we can push it in the later part of the show, you know what that means. <laughs> Baby Shark Gang. Unless I get a CD from the Sharks, it's coming. See y'all. Laters. <laughs>